Hi, it's Greg Lachlan here from the Mariner Safety Series. Check out these neat little ebooks on the website you see at the bottom of the screen. This one is about the effect of currents on waves. In this case, the current is coming from a tide. It's a windy day here in Jervis Bay. As you can see, the wind and the waves are coming from the left, and it's quite strong. If you look over to the retaining wall though, you'll see the tide's going out and there is a current and it's running at a reasonable pace as you can see. So we've got a current in the opposite direction to the waves. And this is what it looks like out in the channel. That's about 100, 150 metres past the retaining wall we were looking at a few minutes ago. The tide is meeting the waves head on. The waves are breaking but they're not going anywhere. Sometimes these waves are called standing waves or pressure waves. They're very steep and very bumpy. Now a few minutes before filming this I watched a 10 metre launch come through there and it was having a few problems. So imagine what it would be like in a 3 or 4 metre tinny. The safety message here is pretty straightforward and it applies equally whether you're going out or coming back. Try to avoid a situation where the wind and waves are being met head on by a current. In the example here, the current was caused by a tide, so you need to know your local tides. But also check if there are any other currents operating in your area which could cause a similar effect. Before leaving, make sure you know when the tide is turning. Avoid times when a current is opposing the waves. This is Greg Lachlan for the Mariner Safety Series. Check out these neat little ebooks on the website you see at the bottom of the screen.